What's up guys? Johnny Picks here. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. I've got another Goodwill haul for you. This one was, uh, I don't know, right around 15 bucks, I think. Um, but absolutely pretty decent haul here. Pretty consistent at least. Found some new items I hadn't seen before. So I've been doing the routes through the toy section and uh, I didn't see this and I swung back through there and I actually saw it. Um, it's a Steph Curry. I thought it was a Lego set, but it, apparently it is a C3 construction. I don't know if this is like a knock off a lego or what but it's sponsored with the nba here um i've looked these up kind of weird comps there's like one or two comps up there right now um for just the figure and they're like 20 bucks or something like that kind of weird um couldn't find any of the boxes the only boxes that i saw was uh that looks like walmart sold them originally for right around 27 bucks and then i believe there was another one uh, online that was out of stock that was like 60 so kind of weird i don't know where this thing is going to end up there's only 50 pieces out of the 61 uh, i'm not sure if he is part of i include him as one piece but i'm not sure if each arm or something like that but uh, i think i still am short a couple so i'll just throw the box up there kind of part it out and uh, see what sticks here next i saw them throw this out as well this is a justice league uh, unlimited wonder woman kind of neat still on the card there uh I'd look back here and I'd seen 2004, so I was like, yeah, 2004, still on the card. It's uh, DC, I'll, you know, risk it, whatever, it was two bucks. And uh, pretty decent comps here, pretty happy with that one. Like I said, nothing really groundbreaking here, kind of until we get to the end, and even that's not that crazy. But uh, other than that, a lot of Xbox, Xbox 360, and Wii games at, game, or at uh, Goodwill, I've noticed. Um, this was really the only like non Cabela's game, fishing game, or like Connect game that I or sports game I guess too um, that they actually had. I gave two or three bucks for it. It's a little scratched up on the back, but I should be able to at least make my money back plus a tiny bit. Next here we have Uno Moo. Uh, I looked it up in store, and apparently it's supposed to have some like paper hay bales. I don't know what they hold or how they kind of go into the game there, but. Looks like I'm missing those, but have almost, if not all, the uh, the figures there. Again, nothing crazy, but a couple decent comps. And then this was probably the most profit of the day. Now, when I bought this, uh, there was no plug-in for me to test it, uh, but it was like three or four bucks, so I'll take the di the dice roll on it. Um, I looked it up. There's a health kit. The model number is here on the back. I believe it's an 1107, if I remember correctly. Let's see here. Yep, GC1107, and uh, everything works on it other than the bottom line is out. So I don't know why it's uh, reading like that, but you can kind of see it's a little weird sometimes. Other times it works. I'm not really sure what the deal with it is, but also I'm not sure why it goes to 90. Um, if it's military time or what, but uh, I looked these up. Again, three or four bucks is what I paid for it. A broken one right now is the cheapest one you can get, and it's 40 bucks. So uh, one in the box just sold for almost 400. I'll take the risk on it again. I know I say that a lot, but uh, I think it's definitely worth the risk, especially when you're only spending a couple bucks when you could possibly be, you know, make tenfold uh, before shipping and all that. So uh, a couple good finds here. I think I spent around 15 on it. I will throw the uh, math here on where we're at. Um, we've only sold one item here so far, but we're definitely going to be getting going here soon. So appreciate you guys watching the video. Have a great day. Bye.